U.S. Air Force's underdevelopment, B-21 Raider bomber, hypersonic weapons, and women drones for its next-generation air dominance. NGAD fighter will be left with fewer funds and manpower if 33 Block 20 F-22 A Raptors remain in service, according to Andrew Hunter, the USAF's top acquisition official. Hunter's comment comes during the USAF's attempt to retire 33 F-22 Raptor stealth jets and Congress's backlash against it. The F-22 Raptor is America's foremost pure air superiority fighter, with absolute stealth and extraordinary maneuvering capabilities to dominate beyond visual range BVR, and within visible range DLUVR, dogfights. Its retirement plans were set around 2009, but were extended after observing China's military growth and the launch of its fifth-generation stealth fighter, the Chengdu G-20 Mighty Dragon. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the Raptor entered into service in 1997, with the last delivery in 200 and one of roughly 187 planes. But it is also beset by a variety of difficulties including poor radar, the absence of an infrared search and track, IRST, costly maintenance and life cycle support, and missing a helmet-mounted display, HMD, and stealth paint covering that keeps peeling off. Moreover, a sector of military aviation aficionados feels stealth is overvalued as near-peer enemies that have technologically caught up with the United States and have networked assets can develop ways to counter stealth. An initiative to integrate an IRST into it was launched just recently this year. The F-22 is also not the first defense platform that U.S. politicians have been insistent on the U.S. military maintaining utilizing. A-10 Thunderbolts, five literal combat ships, LCS, and the MQ-9 Reaper armed unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV are some systems that the U.S. military believes are redundant in a current conventional conflict scenario. Part of the pushback from Congress is due to eco-political investments in the defense businesses, factories, and assembly lines located in their areas. Divesting these platforms would lead to tremendous unemployment and public outrage in an economy already anticipated to fall into an unparalleled recession. Upgrading the Raptor a program to place an IRST on the F-22, a Raptor was begun in January this year. Another initiative is to equip the jet with the underdevelopment AIM-260 beyond visual range, the VR, missile, which is projected to equal the Chinese PL-15's 300-kilometer range. Known as the Raptor Agile Capability Release, RACR, it is intended at keeping the Raptor modernized until the NGAD joins the service. But spending the effort in the Raptor may be employed elsewhere. According to Hunter, Defense News cited him stating, The problem I have would be our ability to deliver on a collaborative combat aircraft system to complement NGAD. That's where I think we start to see repercussions. It would limit our ability to deploy personnel and resources to an aggressive attempt to field that capability. Hunter made the comment at a media encounter on the sidelines of the Life Cycle Industry Days conference. Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CZA, is the name of the other unmanned aircraft with varying missions and sizes that will become a component of the manned unmanned teaming swarm commanded by the NJAD. The program is one of Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall's top objectives. The USAF has sought $51.5 million in fiscal 2023 for the CTA project. Hunter further argues that even if more funds are available, it would still be tough to perform both the F-22 maintenance and the CTA because of personnel, infrastructural and industrial restrictions, such as supply chain interruptions. F-22 is still critical before Russia and China. With the situation in Ukraine showing no signs of baiting and worries of Russia colliding with the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, prevalent, 12 Raptors arrived in central Poland earlier this month. They would be important in attaining air supremacy over Russia's Su-57 and Su-35S 
in combination with the F-35 utilized by other European countries and Gen 4 Plus Plus aircraft like the Eurofighter Typhoon. In China, while it would be the F-35 leading the air campaign, even the F-22s will play a vital part in taking against China's J-20 and Su-35S. While the U.S. is projected to lose a naval conflict because of its significant logistical restrictions in the Western Pacific, revealed by its military officials, it stands to be able to do major damage to the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF. The next generation air dominance, NGAD, is a United States Air Force USAF, sixth generation fighter effort with the objective of deploying a family of systems that is to ultimately displace the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. A manned fighter aircraft is the flagship program of the plan and has been referred to as the FX or Penetrating Counter Air PCA, and is to be assisted by unmanned loyal wingman systems. The NGAD derives from DARPA's Air Dominance Initiative research in 2014 and is scheduled to field the new fighter aircraft in the 2030s. While having an identical name and sharing certain technical breakthroughs, the program is unique from the U.S. Navy's NGAD program, which features the F-AXX as its fighter component and would have a similar fielding time. To play.